first Fukuoka subway. Despite how much work the Fukuoka subways have undergone in recent years, it's said that all the lines are still not open. At present, it's being expanded sequentially, similar to other large cities in the same situation. But there is also a particular urban legend surrounding the Fukuoka subway and why it hasn't fully opened yet. It's said that 12 workers have already died during construction of the subway. While it's a dangerous job and sometimes deaths do occur, this number is still rather high. Rumours have started to spread amongst the locals that this is the work of the Yayoi man. It is his curse that is striking the workers down. And what exactly is the Yayoi man? Well, during construction, it's been said that workers have dug up numerous artefacts from the Yayoi period, and this has slowed construction as they must first consult with the government as to what to do next. But each time they do, something bad happens. And so, locals fear it's the curse of the Yayoi man being woken up all these thousands of years later. And each time they dig something up, the curse grows. It's possible the curse could have been avoided if they weren't in such a rush to build the subway, causing them to carelessly dig through precious ancient artifacts. But now, we may never know. And, as an interesting side note, it's said that the first income the Fukuoka subway made came from a display of said ancient yayoi artefacts. The Ginza High Class Club Ghost At a particular high class club in Ginza, there's said to be a ghost who regularly appears. This club is a small establishment with only a counter and a few small tables. There's only one way in and out, and everyone can see who comes and goes. It's said that if you're sitting at the counter having a drink and the door is locked, suddenly an unknown person might appear next to you. You're here again. You don't belong here. Please leave, the hostess will say in a manner entirely unbefitting a customer of such an expensive club. One man supposedly looked at the customer sitting next to him upon hearing this and saw a man with a dark look on his face. You can see him. The hostess asked, and the man nodded. But when he turned to look at the customer again, he was gone. When he next turned around, he saw the same man slumped in a chair. He decided it was time to go. He was no longer in the mood to drink. But as he got in a cab to go home, he noticed that same man was still sitting beside him. Why is he here? What am I supposed to do? He thought and the drive home felt incredibly long. Even worse, once he got home, the ghost decided to follow him in. At a loss for what to do, the man did the only thing he could think of. He sprinkled salt on the man. You shouldn't be here. Leave. Thankfully, it seemed to work, and the man disappeared. It's said he only survived because of his ability to see spirits, but supposing that he couldn't, then what might have happened? Perhaps it's best not to think about. And if you ever visit a high-class club in Ginza, beware. Perhaps not all the customers are as they seem. Mio-chan's Toilet In Mie Prefecture, there's an urban legend known as Mio-chan's Toilet. It's not very well known outside the prefecture, but it's especially popular in Tsu City. It's an urban legend that crosses all generations. Mio-chan is the story of a little girl you can find in the school toilets, much like Hanako-san. Some have claimed she's merely a Hanako-san imitation, which may be true, but she works slightly differently to the little girl in the third stall with the bob haircut. They say that if you enter the toilets at 4am and call out, Mio-chan, green liquid will flow out of the toilets. At other times, a hand will pop out instead. But unlike Hanako-san, Mio-chan doesn't pose any threat. She is merely the lost spirit of a little girl who died during the Second World War. She ran into the toilets to hide when the bombings were taking place, and fell in and drowned. Rumours of Mio-chan first became popular in the 1980s, 
long before the internet was around, and she spread through word of mouth by children telling their friends at other kindergartens and cram schools, spreading all the way up to university level and beyond. Cow Woman of Mount Dokko If you're ever riding your bike through Mount Dokko, it's said that you'll come across a woman who has the head of a cow. They call her the Cow Woman. This cow woman's sudden appearance surprises riders so much that they pick up speed to try to escape. However, she will steadily keep pace with the bike and, thinking that she will catch them, the riders will turn around, only to discover that she is no longer there. Then, once they think they have escaped, the cow woman will be right in front of them. She captures the rider and then the lights go out. When they wake up, they'll find themselves in hospital, apparently the victim of a bike accident. Their arms will be crushed, and they'll never be able to ride a bike again. The Terrifying Vending Machine There is a terrifying vending machine that people speak of that you can only find late at night. It looks just like a regular vending machine, but with one difference. It comes with no price tags. When you press the button, you don't get a can of drink. Instead, a human body part comes tumbling down. It might be a hand, a foot, or even a head. But that's not all. That body part will then strike from the vending machine, attacking you. If you make the mistake of pressing the return lever, then the vending machine will suck you inside, cutting you into pieces where you will await the next person to come along and buy a body part. Cold Ears Winter in Hokkaido often reaches below freezing, so staying warm against the cold is essential, particularly for young students who must walk to school every day. One story tells of an elementary school student who left the house one morning as usual to go to school. Only on this day, he forgot to take his earmuffs but, by the time he realised, it was too late to go back. His ears hurt from the cold as he walked to school, but in time, the pain passed and he felt nothing at all. He continued on his way and, when he arrived at school and got to his classroom, he rubbed his ears to bring some life back to them. However, as he did, something dropped and hit the floor. His classmates screamed and ran. The boy looked down and saw his ears had fallen cleanly off his head, frozen and brittle from the harsh cold outside. Memorial Stone at Shinjuku Station It's said that the JR Chuo line in Tokyo has a lot of traffic accidents that result in deaths each and every year. And it's said that in areas that see a particularly large number of deaths, Memorial stones are placed in locations the public can't see. One of those places is JR Shinjuku Station. The surveillance cameras have caught many such accidents on tape over the years. One particular accident that was caught on camera saw someone stumble forward as though they had been pushed from behind. The person fell onto the tracks and was then hit by a train. Was this the work of some unseen power? Rumours state that to soothe this unknown and invisible something, a memorial stone was placed in the station dedicated to those who have lost their lives on the tracks. According to staff who work at the station, the rumours that a memorial stone exists somewhere within the station is true, but they deny that something exists that pushes people onto the tracks. The memorial stone is apparently dedicated to those involved in the construction of the station, who died in accidental deaths when the station was renovated and repaired in 1936. So what did you guys think of this week's legends? Do you have any similar ones in your own country? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.